sneaky little next pack again tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tonight we have a Zorin OS6 Ultimate. 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 Yeah, the ultimate one, which is the really big one. It's about 3.6 gig to download. I'm not sure it's a freebie. I think it's a pay one, but normally they're only about 10 euros anyway. So, but it just comes with loads and loads of stuff. You just got to decide whether it's worth your while paying the like 10 euros or 14 dollars, or in my case it would be a squid. If it's worth downloading the whole bundle or just getting the core and doing it yourself, sometimes it's worth just paying the money and getting on with it. And bearing in mind you're supporting the guys at the same time. So anyway, this is the basic desktop, super duper. Uh, it's supposed to help Windows users come over to Linux. Now, I have my doubts about that sometimes, although some of you may disagree with me, but hey, no big deal. I don't really care, but, but hey, just watch the video and we'll find out. Okay, I'll go through it with you. This is the Windows 7 look, okay? Windows 7 look. Mm-hmm, yes, you're saying why? Well, this is to help you guys come along if you're coming from Windows. So, there, exit button. So, I'll just open it for you. You get system settings, displays, startup applications, updates available. There's none. I've updated the whole system because it's installed. Sort out your printers, lock the screen, log out or shut down. There's me there from instant messaging stuff, so it's my account and a guest account, so you always get a guest account anyway, so no big deal. You got your time and date, so as you can see it's quite late, and I've got to film on the TV at the same time because somebody's up, so that's alright. You've got your mail settings, your volume, which is at full here. Rhythm box is your default player here, which is a good choice. Bearing in mind it's based on Ubuntu 1204, okay. Now they're saying it's going to be based. Uh, sorry, it's going to be supported for five years. Now I'm not sure if Zorin's going to do this. Uh, somebody can let me know if it is or not. Be nice because I haven't had time to go and check them out yet for a long time actually. There's my network connection there as well. There's my music player, which is Ridon Box, and there's my files and systems. And there's Chrome, Google Chrome, as your main browser by default. So I'll quickly open it up, and you can see what I'm saying. Five, four, three, two, one. Dun, dun, dun. That's all right. I don't, I don't want to set as default, really, do I? No, I don't really. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. So if I quickly get rid of all that, it'd be easy, wouldn't it? Okay. There we go. Say goodbye to that. What we do is we want to type in something just to make sure it all works. Now, in theory, all the codecs should be loaded for you, ready to use. So if I go over to YouTube, not the BBC for a change. And if I go to me, let me put me in. Okay, and just make sure the video plays for a start. I'm not first sure what version of Flash is going to use, so we'll just go down to an old one. I've done a Zorin OS 4 many moons ago. Okay, just see if it boots up. Five, four, three. yes, and it's going to work. So no big deal there. It all should work out of the box of all your codecs that you really want to use. Nice. Goodbye, Google Chrome. Goodbye. i see you later. Now, you may not want to, you want to use Google Chrome because, remember, Google Chrome sends all the stuff back to Google for, you know, doing Google stuff. If you want, still want to use the same interface, get Chromium. That's the one that doesn't send all the stuff back. Okay, but that's enough of that stuff. Now, why is it called Ultimate? I hear you say, or hear you cry, even. Okay, I'm going to show you. If we go to the GNU menu, okay, we get accessories. If I go to accessories, and you get all the extra stuff here all the extra stuff and you can do your own docky if you wanted to but bear in mind you just downloaded ultimate you get all the stuff from the windows changer which i'll show you very shortly okay quick synergy as well for doing your screens screenshot terminal text as you have virtual box as default and x notes and x journal we'll go back and the games you don't get too many games where's warzone mate where's warzone that's, that's one of the best games to get on here mate what about mahjong where's warzone but you get also get pingus mines Super Touch Cart, Trigger and Xmoto. Xmoto, I think we should delete that now. It needs to be updated really good. Okay, under graphics, Blender is standard. I'm not sure what version of Blender, but it should be quite a current one we should be able to use. When it decides it wants to work. It's 262, so that's going to do all your stuff. Now, if you want to use Blender, it's a real steep learning curve, as Spatry will tell you all about it. But once you get into it, it's quite easy. But You'll be learning all the time you use it. That's like even from today, next year, or the year after, because it's always changing. But it's always super duper too nice. Okay, go back to graphics again. Da -da 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 -da. Gimpy is standard. Now, what version of Gimpy should it be? Well, of course, it should be 2.8. And is it going to be? Hang on, let's see, find out. Mm -hmm. It's 2.8, and then my bit of drinkage went down very nice here. Yeah. It starts really nice. Super duper. Lovely. 
done. Okay, that's enough of graphics. Under internet or internet or the net, we get desktop sharing, which is really good. Empathy for instant messaging. Maybe you might as well get rid of that one now and use something else. Okay. Firefox, I've installed myself, which is Firefox 13.0.1, I think, but we'll soon find out as soon as it pops up. Okay. Pops up. Remember, I'm recording at the same time. It's one of my old machines I'm using here at the moment, by the way, before anybody says anything. Okay. So if we go to help and about Firefox. 13.0.1 is the one to go, and it's most of the Firefox for Ubuntu Canonical, so it's their one, okay? Their only one, yeah, their own version. Is it any different for anybody else's? Who, who knows? We won't know for a little while yet, will we? Okay, back to internet. You get Gobby as well, that's good. Google Chrome, as we've seen before. Gwiba, Composer for doing HTML stuff. Remina for remote desktop control. Skype as standard. Thunderbird, or Chunderbird, whatever you want to call it. Transmission. And Zorin Web Browser Management, so you can install more browsers. Okay, we go back, and we're going to go to Office. What have we got? Calibra eBook Management. Yes, yeah, fine if you like reading eBooks, getting things known. That's cool. Geo Labels Designer. Good. Home Bank Craft. Get to work personally. The full Libra Office Suite. A Project Management Suite. Qt Stalker. View Your Mind. That's quite fun to use actually. And WM Banker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a LibreOffice Writer just to make it sure it all works hunkily of the dory. Okay. Now, you can see it's a little bit slow on this machine at the, at the moment. For some reason, <clears throat> it's hugging onto some memory somewhere. Some Something's hugging onto something and it's not letting go of CPU process. But it still works. Okay. It still works. Go to about LibreOffice. It's 3532. Super of the duper. Nice. Goodbye. Okay, anyway. Back to office. Should we go back to office? Yes, have a look. See what else we've got down there. Do you want to view the finance manager? Not really, do you? Economize. Let's have a look at the economize. Let's see if it's any worth going here and paying it the amount of euros. We'll go to their website in a minute and have a look, actually. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just a banking thing, isn't it? Really, at the end of the day. Hmm. Now, if you get Sage or a Sage equivalent to work, you'd have businesses flocking. Yes, you really would, especially small ones. Anyway, sound and video. This is one of the big ones. You get Acid Rip DVD. That's what it says on the tin. You get Amrock, not my favourite. Arista, Audacity, Brazero, Zero, Cheese, DVD Styler, nice one. Gnome M Player, ISO Master, Jockster, Kazam. Might as well leave it out as it's just been changed. Caden Live, got to be there. A TV viewer, Myro is there, a Mix, uh, do you know I do love me Mix, that's in there as well. Should we open up for you? Yeah, we'll go in, why not? So we'll pick them up. I don't really want to do that, because I don't want to do that, no. When I do that, it's going to crash afterwards anyway, so I don't really worry about it too much. And this is how you mix your tracks in Mix, so you can be a virtual DJ, super duper. Goodbye. Anyway, that's enough of that. We also send a video, aren't we? I remember now. We'll scroll down a bit more. Now we've done mix. Open shot is there for you to use. Sound recorder, Transmageddon, VLC, Xbox Media Center, Media Center is there, and Exene. Now, Exene can be really useful at times. It's an old school stuff, but it does the working jobs. Okay, under system tools, administration, of course, preferences, DVD disaster to sort out your DVDs when they're disastered. And then we're going to go down to system monitor and see if anything's hugging anything. And we're just about to find out. But at the moment, Whatever was hugging it is not hugging it anymore. And I'm only using the 336 of my RAM, which is okay. I'm using a bit of swap, but who cares about that bit, really? Nobody really does. Okay. System tools again. We also get system settings. Should we go to system settings. It's the basic layout you all know and love once it comes up. There you go. Nicely set out. Mintish, sort of, isn't it? So you can check your drivers, your Bluetooth, and anything else you really want to do. And your Ubuntu One stuff there. Don't forget, Ubuntu One gives you 5 gigabytes of online storage for freebies, so don't forget to use it if you're going to use this distro. Hey, anyway, where was our system tells you? The Zorin look changer, so we'll open it up. This is the big thing about Zorin. At the moment, we're looking like Windows 7, okay? Right, say you want it to look like Mac OS X. All we do is click here, at one time, and you might have a little noise in the background there. Click OK, click Close, give it a couple of seconds to redo itself. And we're now supposed to be looking like Mac OS X, and it does really, isn't it? It's okay, super duper. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I thought it was alright. Yeah. You took your menu up in the corner here, so that's alright. Lovely. We'll go back to system tools. Right. Now, here, I can't find my look. Oh, there it is. My look change has gone back. Okay. So we change it to something else while we're here. Okay. Now, you can have Unity if you really want to. Do you want to check that out? Yeah, go on. 
will change to Unity. So just wait a second, wait for it to do its stuff, and we should, in theory, in about four seconds, there we go, and we have Unity. Now remember, you can change all this stuff here with the background closed to make it transparent, etc., if you really want to have Unity. To be honest, if you want Unity, you'd go Ubuntu, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. Okay. Okay, so we'll try Gnome 2 anyway. Click on Gnome 2. Well, apparently it's successful. Looks all right to me. We'll close that. I've got the old-fashioned Gnome 2 styly look. Isn't that nice? If you want that sort of look, you can do it. Bear in mind, if you like a lot of people, you just like different desktop environments, this could be the one for you. It could be really good. Now, I've only had one crash on it is when I was using Mix, okay? Only one crash. But that could be an application. And the system is updated to the top max, okay? It is updated. So anyway, you also get Wine for Wine. So if you use Play on Linux, Play on Linux, what is my name? Wath or something like that. Play on Linux. You can do it and install most games. Although I tried to install Sudden Strike the other day and it just didn't work. I used to like Sudden Strike. I found it in my cupboard, if you know what I mean. But Wine Tricks is also here. You get universal access for Cell Writer, easy keystroke gestures, onboard screen, and Orca screen reader. Back to system tools. There's not much I can show you here. You've got Zorin Background Plus. Whatever that is that. Let's have a look. So we'll wait. Set background. Start background plus. So we just check it out and see what it is. Okay. What happened? I might. Oh! We get an animated desktop. Okay. Now, bear in mind that's going to wash your CPU card and your GPU. It's up to you if you want to use it. But it seems to be working fine here, actually. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, that's all right, though, isn't it? Do you think it's all right? So, go back to background plus again. We'll wait and we'll stop it. Oh, that's all right, wasn't it? I really like that. That's a nice little touch. Sorry, boys. Now, I've been following, following the boys for about five years now. I remember a video I watched of theirs many moons ago in their school uniforms doing some stuff at school, okay? They've all grown up now, so they're probably going to tell me off about that. But they know what they're doing. I think they got lost in the last one. This is my personal opinion, but Zorin 6 Ultimate seems to be the hunkily dory super of the duper. It really, really does. Oh, by the way, you can change the desktop background, and they've supplied quite a few. Let's open them up for you, and we'll just change it for you to make it look nice, okay? Nice and nicey of the nicey. Or even nicer than that. So let's go with that one there, shall we? Go that one. Yeah, that's all right. I like that. That's all right. Does me. Bit of snowflakes, is that? Do you reckon? Snowflakes? Something like that, anyway. Anyway, Zorin OS 6. A lot better than the core. I had a few problems with the core when trying to do it about ooh, two or three weeks ago. And so I left it alone. I might have had a bad download. I've had quite a few recently, so it may be my end. But this one here, that they sent me very nicely. Thank you very much, boys. The Ultimate is very very good and does what it says on the tin and it's so good if you like it i like it you know what it's got to be 96 96 percent for zorin os 6 ultimate yes i know it's a large download but it is worth it in the end and could be worth your eight quid ten euros or whatever oh before we go should we go and see i forgot sorry chap i forgot let's go to internet and we go to firefox and we'll just check out just to make sure how much they are. So we get to Zorin OS. And we go to the home. Oh, I just missed the premium bit there, didn't I? What a bummer. Okay, let's go down and see if I can find it from here. Software. No, 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 gonna get it. Yes, premium. Okay. Let's have a look at the premium. Okay, let's see how much they charge for the premium. Right. Oh, it's a donation. Okay, it's a donation. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. So you can donate 15 euros or the equivalent in your um, currency and three euros shipping. So if you're in the States, that's going to be around about $20. Or if you want to download it, it's 10 euros, as I said, and you can download it. I think that's pretty okay, really, to be honest with you. 10 euros, that's about eight, seven quid. I can live with that. Yeah. Super duper. So anyway, Zorin OS 6 Ultimate, well worth it, I think, personally. But if you're skimflint, just go download the core and then spend a couple of days downloading all the stuff you need and get all the extras. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.